up. So this video is about that loud mouth, obnoxious Michael Avenatti, that attorney who represented Stanley Stormy Daniels and was hell bent on going after R. Kelly. And he's trying to bring up this old tape and trying to cook up stuff. Well, what ended up happening is that he got his behind cooked today because the feds had his butt taped and wired talking about how he had Nike and what he was going to do. He was trying to extort and hustle. I'm going to tell you something right now. If you're R. Kelly, <clears throat> you got you a stogie, and you might want to get your stepping shoes and your, and your Pied Piper mask back on because you might be back on show. Let me tell you what happens. And I'm not, if anything was really on R. Kelly, then he has to, that has to be what happens. But I'm going to tell you like this. If this is the prize possession um uh, that's the name of a song that I, R. Kelly happened to write for the Isley Brothers back on their Body Kiss album back in 2003. But if Michael Alvinati was the prize possession to getting at R. Kelly, well, the ship be sinking, to quote Michael Ray Richardson from a basketball player in the NBA, because this is embarrassing. This cat was arrogant, threw his face out there, talked much cash yang, what he was going to do. And now... He about to get locked up. They they throwing the key so he gonna be thrown so far under the cell. It's not even gonna be funny. And this is not a good look for the prosecution with against R. Kelly because this guy was front and center, throwing up some dusty tapes trying to make it like he got something, and he been running in his mouth. He been running at the mouth. So here he is now, with twenty plus million dollars what he was trying to extort from Nike with everything that was going on. And so here he is now making himself front and center. And then he's like, now, what do you got? What do you expect from this now with everything? So this is not a good look at all. You know, it's like people don't even seem to think that, you know, when you have these cases, you have to be airtight. You can't look cross-eyed. You can't have a hair out of place. You know, you got to be on point, 100%. Because if anything goes funny, anything, it makes you suspect. So how are they going to, like, be associated with someone who the feds just threw the key away, and he's in a he's in a Ponzi scheme, hustle scheme? I knew this weasel was no good, you know. Some old, some old, uh, rope Rudy Giuliano knockoff want to be, uh, Italian dude think he mops to think he gangster and he didn't just man he didn't step into a big old pile of you know what and he ain't getting his shoes clean with this he about to do some real time high wires all this stuff so how this does apply well it's gonna knock off a lot it's gonna help R. Kelly immensely because what's inadmissible and this guy happened being a boy he was trying to to do They've been extorting, hoping to get a payday from the R. Kelly situation to fund his reckless ways. So it ties in a great deal. And you'd be crazy not to think that this isn't a win for R. Kelly. And rightfully so, because I don't think the case is that strong against R. Kelly. I'm not condoning nothing because I don't, you know, all of the implications. But I'm, I just don't think this is, I think they piling on racially, racistly. I think that they used this surviving show, you know, to, to, but a lot of people, there's too much gold digging out here. Too many hands out, too many people trying to get paid, and they don't really have a case against them. I'm up here thinking, okay, man, R. Kelly done something dumb in the last year, two, three years, something dumb. They ain't got nothing, really, when you look at it. Common sense is all this is is just a replay uh, a rewind of what happened a decade ago. You know? Then you got to sell out dumb Gail King. She got used as bait. Because I'm going to tell you something. I, I did say this. I said they want to get R. Kelly on something. But I also said this. He got halfway decent lawyering. He lawyered up right. He can drive a mud hook through quite a bit of this. Just on time and dates and what you're running. But now that Michael uh, Avenatti... Stepped in the dog mess. Um, 
Tails plays his cards right and they go in quite correctly, they can really drive a mud hole through this. And, you know, and like I said before, I didn't think the case was that strong to begin with. I think it's a pile on. It's the bad mouth him and there's more going on with the business, the racist music industry that's vindictive, evil. And really, because now they don't have any use for him, that's what the pile on's about. But I'm going to tell you something. God don't like ugly. And this thing got ugly. And Michael Albanati, he looked like the ugly maid that nobody wants. He, It's like, how do you go from going after Donald Trump to going after R. Kelly and represent somebody? And on one hand, you look like you were legit. And now your Ponzi scheme then backfired in a real way. So Michael Albanati... Then hurt the credibility, can hurt the, then hurt whatever he was trying to do against R. Kelly, and he hurt his cause. So it's going to be interesting how it all plays out, but uh, I believe R. Kelly should be able to start stepping soon. He should be working too, by the way. He should be able to tour. He ain't been convicted of nothing. It's racist if they don't let that man work. That man has every entitlement to be working. He ain't been convicted of Jack. These old lame racist countries who don't want him in them. But then you remember, he wins this case. Don't ever go there again. Bump him. Same thing with that whack city of Philadelphia. Because you know, I, I call him out on it. He ain't been convicted of nothing. So how are you going to bar somebody coming from your whack city, especially the United States? And they hardcore racist and they're corrupt. So we'll see what's up. But anyway, um, that is a twisted thing. And this whole R. Kelly thing is more twisted than trapped in the closet. It's real twisted. So I'm not, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing. You can't have a lawyer who steps in boo-boo. That's not a good look. So Michael Albanati, no, they didn't, I'm not saying it's going to completely clear R. Kelly, whatever they got or whatever. But I'm going to say this. He is more closer to 60, 70% on the good right now because you can't have this representing and I just think there's a lot of gold diggers a lot of people piling on so the lies are coming out money train the sugar daddy the Italian dude was trying to promise them that he's going to take care of them uh, you got to worry about his own self he may need it he going to need he going to need a lawyer all right and that's my take about Michael Alvinati R. Kelly's case and the feds got Michael Alvinati on that tape feel free to leave them comments hit that subscribe the bell rings. That's my next episode. And your boy's out. Have a good night. Peace.